energy has always been a major concern for aviation. Not originally for ecological reasons, but in order to increase range or reduce cost. Since the 1960s, commercial airliners have cut their fuel consumption by 70%, their CO2 emissions too. Now that these emissions have become a real issue for humanity, the aviation industry is well placed to find solutions. Already, a passenger on board an Airbus A380 uses just three liters of fuel per 100 kilometers. And we can always improve on something that already exists. Future generations of aircraft will continue to save fuel up to the last drop before moving on from fossil fuels for good. Hydrogen, as a fuel, is too bulky. And above all, as it doesn't exist here on Earth in a pure form, an awful lot of energy would have to be wasted to produce it. Fuel cells using hydrogen and oxygen from the air to produce electricity could never actually drive aircraft. However, because fuel cells are quiet and non-polluting, they will replace batteries and power generators for stopover needs. Solar power is the epitome of renewable energy. But even if photovoltaic cells hugely increase their output, they could never make a passenger plane fly. On the other hand, they could provide electricity on board once the aircraft has reached cruising level. There is a more subtle way of using the sun's energy. If you give certain algae, seawater, sun and carbon, the same carbon we're trying to get rid of, they start growing and yield an oil from which we can make a fuel very similar to present day kerosene. Because algae require neither fresh water nor the land used for farming, biofuels made from biomass may well be key players in the future of aviation. Unless a major scientific discovery comes along and once more revolutionizes our way of living and traveling. There are so many possible futures for aviation. Airbus is committed to using the most responsible form of energy available to fly its aircraft.